Blanco. Thank you, Sarah. This report is brought to you by Pizza Pizza. Just having a look at the westbound 401. It's busy from Trafalgar to approaching Jamesville Parkway, but can't spot any collisions along that stretch. With a northbound Donnelly Parkway that's starting to fill in from Winford to York Mills, and that's just volume of traffic. Southbound 404 Don Valley is in good shape, and no problem east or westbound 401 across Toronto. The Gardner Expressway and the QEW moving well westbound on the 403 at Main Street East in Hamilton. Right lane is blocked to the clear mains closed because of construction. And we have single lane construction affecting southbound at Bayview at Finch. At Pizza Pizza, pick up an extra large 16-inch pepperoni pizza for just $9.99. And get a Pizza Ability scratch and match card to win. So many Pizza Abilities at Pizza Pizza. And with the forecast, here at Whittier Home, just Jill Taylor. We're in for a mainly cloudy windy day with a chance of showers. That wind out of the northwest to 40 kilometers per hour with higher gusts. The guaranteed high 10 degrees. Currently cloudy windy tonight, 4 for the low, and then a bit of sunshine tomorrow with a high 8. For today, the guaranteed high 10. Right now, 680 News in downtown Toronto. Property guilty of accessory to murder after the fact was an option. The three judges on this panel are being tough. One grilling Rafferty's lawyer saying what possible evidence is there that he simply claimed that the body it had nothing to do with it. At the Ontario Court of Appeals, I'm Owen Koreshi. This is 680 News. Happening now, go train service on the Lakeshore East Line is being impacted after an incident near the Rouge Hill GO station. Police confirmed there was a fatality on the track. Service is expected to be impacted for two hours. In the meantime, trains will be running between Union and Gilwood and between Pickering and Oshawa. Shuttle buses will be operating between Gilwood and Pickering Station. We're listening to All News Radio 680 News. It's 1234. If you're always fishing for change to pay for street parking or trying to find your wallet, those things will soon be a thing of the past as Toronto's Green Bee Parking app is expanding to include street parking. City's Irene Franklin joins us with that story, Irene. And Brian, the Green Tea app is already being used in laws across the city. You use your phone to buy time, and you can also track your parking history. Mayor John Tory says the app means no more dashing back to your car, having to buy another ticket because your parking time is about to run out. But as they're sitting in some meeting or doing some shopping and it's taking a bit longer than expected, they could actually extend their parking time through their phone and not have to rush back to the place. Netflix and Twitter that have been targeted by cyber attackers. Turns out a separate denial of service attack is what took down Ontario's online trial of the secondary school literacy test last week. 680 Charlene Close joins us live with their latest Charlene. Sarah, the trouble started just as the online test was to begin last Thursday morning. Thousands of grade 10 students were to take it online for the very first time. Director of Assessment Richard Jones says it was an intentional, malicious, and sustained denial of service attack. He tells me it caught the office off guard. Well, one of the main purposes of the online trial was to uh, basically find out what kinds of issues there might be, and they really expect that they might be more at the school and board level and uh, be able to work with our partners to mitigate those. Unfortunately, we never got a chance to get into that at all. The issues were at our end, and it was all about just people blocks, someone blocking access to our... It appears that Omer was inside the vehicle when he was shot, then crashed the vehicle hitting a home and a tree. The man was pronounced dead at the scene. Any witnesses are being asked to contact police or crime stoppers? The yeah, police are asking for witnesses to come forward to help them solve the murder of a 23-year-old Toronto man in Streetsville over the weekend. Police say dozens of people were attending a private birthday party at the Streetsville Kinsmen Senior Citizen Center when gunfire broke out about 4 a.m. on Saturday. The Toronto Sun says police are trying to determine if the victim, Deshaun Brandon Nicholson, was an invited guest at the party or if he crashed the event. Meanwhile, Hill police are also investigating the shooting and wounding of two men at a nearby gas station. That incident has not been linked to the birthday party shooting. This is 680 News. It's 1237. Well, the Trudeau government has announced it's going to be introducing new strict food regulations that will make changes to the way food is advertised to your kids and to the labeling rules for food packaging. 680's Parliament Hill reporter Cormac McSweeney with a story from Ottawa. With one in three Canadian children considered overweight, the government is taking action. One of the big changes is that the Liberals will be restricting the marketing of food to your kids. Happy times! They're magically delicious. Typically, cartoon characters or free toys have been used by companies Companies to advertise things like sugary cereals and soda, that will change, although the health minister didn't give a timeline or details for this move. In addition to this, next year the government will force companies to put sugar, sodium, and saturated fat content.
content on the front of packaging, and it will eliminate the use of trans fats from restaurants and processed foods by 2018. It has also started the process to update the Canada Food Guide. The minister says her department will be using every tool it has to support healthy eating by Canadians. Cormac McSweeney, Parliament Hill. Good evening, News Time, 1238. Baseball fans hoping to see history this World Series are paying a pretty penny. A day ahead of the World Series, ticket prices on the secondary market have surged. Just to get in the door with a standing room only ticket at Wrigley Field for Game 3, $2,300. Tickets behind the dugout reaching up to $30,000. The Cubs are holding a lottery for available tickets to be purchased at face value. More Five, more than you have to pay. Just one Now and receive RedTag.ca's exclusive price drop assurance. If the price drops, we'll pay you the difference. It's that simple. Why wait? It pays to book now. Taking a look at City Street, southbound Bayview at Finch is down to a single lane due to construction and construction westbound Weston Road approaching Rogers. It's in the right lane. City Street. William Ashley Warehouse Sale. Stunning. I need a new set of dinnerware. Uh, William Ashley Warehouse Sale. Hello. Gotta go. I bought all my holiday gifts there. Save tons. Oh, do they have... Biking, ski trails, golf, beach, all of this close to the GTA. Register now at georgiansands.com, starting at 239.9. georgiansands.com. Don't miss the fall preview coming soon. Central it's time for traffic and weather together on the one. Here's Christine Lango. This report is brought to you by Vaughn Chrysler. Well, I'm seeing bits and pieces of, uh, of, of volume on the major routes around the GTA. Really not a lot of it and none of it is on the 401 across Toronto. However, to the west, westbound 401 is slow from Trafalgar to approaching James Snow Parkway. Northbound John Valley Parkway busy with volume. Right now, 680 News in downtown Toronto. We have overcast skies, 9 degrees. At a Pearson, it's also overcast and 9. We'll have another check of traffic and weather together in less than 10 minutes. 680 News, time 1243. Now, the BMO Smart Folio Market Minute, live from the Business Center. Here's Chris McCusker. Well, Sarah, the TSX is at its low for the day. Sorry to say, off by 55 points, 14,883. Due in large part to a pullback in commodities today as we see the U.S. dollar rise. Oil is down by 2.2%, off by $1.12, 49.73 a barrel. Gold is down by $4, 12.63. And silver is going the other way, up by half a percent to 17.59. The Canadian dollar is down by a third of a cent now, 74.66 cents U.S. A different mentality in the U.S. The Dow is higher by 52, 18,198. The S&P up by 7, 2,148. And the NASDAQ, it is still the big winner in North America, higher by seven tenths of a percent, 5,298. I'm Chris McCusker, and that's your Market Minute on 680 News. Let your money do the hard work with BMO Smartfolio, the affordable, hands free way to invest online that's managed by experts. Learn more at BMO.com slash smartfolio. Still ahead on 680 News, today marks the start of Ontario's annual flu immunization campaign. 680, here's 1244. The Mercedes-Benz Vans demo sales event is on at Mercedes-Benz Toronto Retail Group. Take advantage of the year's lowest lease rates on all in-stock 2016 Sprinter and Metris demonstrator models and receive additional savings of over $2,600 in waived freight and PDI fees. Now's the time to find the Mercedes-Benz van that works best for you and your business. Visit toronto.mbvans.ca or your local Mercedes-Benz Toronto retail store for details. Every night this October, Captain Morgan presents Legends of Horror at Casa Loma. Immerse yourself in a ghoulish theatrical interpretation as Dracula himself leads you on a one-hour walk through the bowels of the historic castle. You'll meet a host of classic horror characters as the story unfolds and draws you to Frankenstein's lab and a seductive world of enchantment, blood, and eternal life. Legends of Horror at Casa Loma. Brought to you by Liberty Group. Tickets at Casa Loma. This is all news radio, 680 News. The cloudy sky, 9 degrees in downtown Toronto. Good afternoon from the 680 News Broadcast Center. I'm Sarah Perry. And I'm Ryan Fisher. Here's what's making news right now. We turn to Penguins practice and said he feels good, but there are lots of questions to be answered before he gets the green light. They're always asking a lot of questions and, you know, making sure that uh, you're good for, you know, different standpoint. Obviously, your health, but then, like you said, you're diving and you feel comfortable there. Pace and, you know, 
It's time for traffic and weather together on the one. Here's Christine Lango. Thank you, Sarah. This report is brought to you by train. I'm seeing a delay in the west end on the westbound 401 from approaching the 407 to approaching James Mill Parkway. Eastbound 401 by comparison in great shape across the GTA, not spotting any difficulties. Northbound Don Valley Parkway still have some volume from approaching Whisper to York Mills, but southbound 404 Don Valley in great shape over the 401 all the way down to the Gardner. And speaking of the Gardner Expressway, that's moving well as you travel into and out of downtown. Now, uh, if you're just having a look at a problem here, it's eastbound and 0% interest. Terms and conditions apply. Visit traino.ca. Now, with the extended forecast, here's meteorologist Jill Taylor. A mainly cloudy, breezy day. That wind out of the northwest. Pretty strong gusts for us today. The guaranteed high just 10 degrees. Four for the low. It will be partly cloudy, windy tonight. Bit of sunshine for Tuesday and Wednesday, but still a strong wind. And highs below average, 8 degrees Tuesday, only 6 for the high Wednesday. Thursday, rather wet, windy with rain, the high 7, mainly cloudy, 9 on Friday. For today, the guaranteed high, 10. Right now, 680 News in downtown Toronto, we have overcast skies 9 degrees and a Pearson also overcast at 9. This extended forecast is brought to you by your Ontario Subaru dealers. Experience the safety of affordable all-wheel drive at your local Subaru dealer today. Visit OntarioSubaruDealer.ca for locations near you. This just ended 680 News. The appeal of the Michael Rafferty trial has been dismissed. The Crown will not be heard. Stay with 680 News for more on this developing story. 680 near Dutch 1253. Everybody knows great homes start with you, especially when the U stands for Union Lighting and Furnishings, North America's largest lighting showroom. Visit our Schoenbeck Lighting Gallery today and see our full line of traditional and modern chandeliers featuring Swarovski crystal. Schoenbeck, a name synonymous with quality since 1870. Union Lighting and Furnishings, 1491 Castlefield Avenue, just north of Eglinton, off Dufferin. Union. Great home. Start with you. Win access to the advanced screening of Hacksaw Ridge, directed by Mel Gibson on October 27th. See the incredible true story of a soldier who won the Congressional Medal of Honor without ever firing a bullet. Private Desmond Doss goes into battle during World War II with one mission to save lives. With the world so set on tearing itself apart, it doesn't seem like such a bad thing to me to want to put a little bit of it back together. See Hacksaw Ridge before it opens in theaters. Time, 12.54. The Bloor Street Bike Lane project is well underway, but already some local businesses are turning a thumbs down to it. According to the Toronto Star, 40% of business owners say they've noticed a loss of business. The owners say the downturn is due to the loss of street parking spots to make way for those bike lanes. And the pilot project was overwhelmingly approved by council in May. The lanes could become a permanent fixture after the one-year test period is up. You can't control winter's fury, but you can take command of the road. Power through snow, sleet, and ice with the confident handling of Cadillac's intelligent all-wheel drive. Available at no charge for a limited time on eligible 2017 models. And now, leave the first ever 2017 XT5 crossover from just 278 by weekly. Some conditions apply. This winter, be the cause during the storm. Your Cadillac is waiting. Magellan is a publicly traded real estate investment trust. REIT, for short, listed on the TSX. Its portfolio includes over 30 income-producing properties across the United States and Canada. That's true, including 11 industrial office and retail properties in Houston alone. But you know, more people live in Houston than Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba combined. Really? And you can't sell Limburger cheese there on Sundays. Nor should you. Magellan. A-G-E-L-L-A-N at agellanry.com. Building prosperity, one building at a time. 680 News, 1256. Now the 680 News Business Report presented by WestJet. Here's Chris McCusker. Sarah, it's an $85 billion deal in the U.S., but it could be a problem. AT&T and Time Warner, which is the company that owns CNN and HBO, among others, these two companies found some common ground, but analysts today, along with public interest groups and even some politicians, are far from convinced. On word of this merger, both stocks are lower. Shares in Time Warner down by 2.3%, 87.40 a share. 
stock at AT&T down by 1.5%, 3693 to share. And Alex Sherman with Bloomberg says, that really tells you something. You can't discount Comcast trying to buy Time Warner Cable and that deal not going through. Because I think most people thought that deal would go through. And that is not a competitor buying another competitor. This is not AT&T T-Mobile, which was rejected because you're shrinking the market. In that deal, you had to sort of figure out, eh, all right, I guess we can say Comcast is going to have too much power over the Internet. But you could see the rules starting to be stretched about why that deal didn't go through. And I think people are looking at this one, too, and they're thinking that regulators, particularly Hillary Clinton, uh, may want to be even tougher on regulatory than Barack Obama. So the Dow right now, despite these losses, is moving higher, up by 63, 18,209. The S&P up by 6, 2,147. And the NASDAQ up by 7 tenths of a percent, or 40 points now, to 5,298. Now the TSX is falling from a 15-month high, up by 52 to 14,887. The biggest drag is coming from gold stocks. Gold is down by $4, 1263. Uh, energy stocks lower as well, with oil off by 2% now, down by $1.9, 49.76 a barrel, so below that $50 mark. While the Bank of Canada today and the federal government renewing their inflation target agreement for another five years, it'll stay at 5, uh, excuse me, 2%, which is the midpoint of a range of 1 to 3% that the central bank deems acceptable. Right now, the Canadian dollar down by three-tenths of a cent, 74.69 cents U.S. I should point out that affecting our dollar, along with uh, many commodities today, we are seeing strength in the U.S. dollar. I'm Chris McCusker. Business continues at 26 and 56. This is 680 News. Jim, meet Billy, our new VP. Nice to meet you, sir. He's a little young. Uh, we fast-tracked him. There's a fast-tracker? Sure is. The fast-track offer from WestJet. Billy? Spend $1,500 in base fare on WestJet flights before December 18th, and you can enjoy full flight benefits like lounge passes, advanced seat selection, and more. You don't say. With the WestJet RBC World Elite MasterCard, get there even faster by only having to spend $1,000. Jim, give him your parking spot. Why? Fast-track. That's just good business. Register today at WestJet.com. You've reached Gary, the Canadian Tire guy. Still can't come to the phone because I'm at Canadian Tire for the final week of their biggest tire sale of the year. Canadian Tire, Canada's garage. Equal payments on approved credit. Conditions apply to no interest. Limited time offer. See flyer for details. Now, 680 News regional weather conditions for KidneyCar.ca. Get rid of an unwanted vehicle and help those with kidney disease. Call Kidney Car. They'll tow it away for free and give you a tax receipt of at least $300. Visit KidneyCar.ca. In Moosonee right now, some light rain, 3 degrees. Overcast and 10 degrees in Niagara Falls. It's partly cloudy, 7 in Orangeville. This is CFTR, 680 News. It's 1 o'clock. It's Monday, the 24th of October. Good afternoon in downtown Toronto. It's cloudy and 9 degrees. Here's what's making news this hour. Appeal denied. The lawyer for Michael Rafferty, the man convicted of murdering Tory Stafford of Woodstock seven years ago, was back in court today. He'd been asking for a new trial. Go train service on the Lakeshore East and West lines is being impacted after a fatality on the tracks near Rouge Hill Go Station. The glitch that shut down the province's high school literacy test last week was a cyber attack. We certainly never expected anything like that. Assessment offices, it was similar to what happened to several popular websites. We need to make choices that are good for Canadians. The Trudeau government plans to overhaul food regulations and labeling rules, which may include restricting the way companies advertise to your children. Connor Brown, the early benefactor of the Leafs' decision to waive Milan McCulloch, Ben Smith claimed from Colorado Sports at 15. Investors are buying on Wall Street. It's up by 66. Selling on Bay Street, down by 48. And oil slips below $50 a barrel as Iraq has a taste on that OPEC deal. Business at 26. News Time 101. Traffic and weather together on the watch. Here's Christine Lankos. This report is brought to you by Singer Dental Implant Seminar. We have a collision now eastbound 401 east of Meadowvale, just east of the Kingston Road ramp. It's in the collectors. Three right lanes are blocked. We have emergency crews on scene. Motors are getting by in the left lane only. This is just a bit of a bunch up through this area as volume is quite light. Westbound 401 is slow at the Dixie ramp, and then we have delays from Winston Churchill to west of Trafalgar. 
Put down Don Valley Parkway, that's busy from approaching Whisper to York Mills, southbound 404 Don Valley, no troubles. The Gardner QE combination, again, problem free. Southbound 410 had been a bit slow from Derry to Courtney Park. As well, we had a collision at the Queensway and Park Lawn. And the southbound Carling View ramp to eastbound 401, that's closed because of construction. Missing teeth or loose dentures? Attend a free dental implant seminar at Dental or at Thinker Dental in Ajax. AjaxImplantSeminar.com. That's AjaxImplantSeminar.com. And now with the forecast, here's meteorologist Jill Taylor. We're in for a mainly cloudy, windy day with a chance of showers. That wind out of the northwest to 40 kilometers per hour with higher gusts. A guaranteed high 10 degrees. Partly cloudy, windy tonight. Four for the low, and then a bit of sunshine tomorrow with a high eight. For today, the guaranteed high 10. Right now in downtown Toronto, it's cloudy and 9 degrees. It's City News Time, 102. We're breaking news from Osgood Hall this afternoon, where the judges have dismissed Michael Rafferty's appeal attempt. We would expect that any new trial would be considerably shorter than the first one. Dennis Old.